I don't know. I like it here. Welcome back to Pentagram kind of Prime, everybody. On a roll with Warren series, and today we will be looking at e to the z divided by z squared for a domain on the complex plane that includes absolute values of z greater than zero but less than infinity. Basically, the entire complex plane with a pinprick at the origin. So the first thing we're going to do is to separate the numerator, e to the z, from the denominator, z squared. This leaves us with the quantity of 1 over z squared multiplied times e to the z. From here, we can expand the e to the z term as a Maclaurin series before carrying through the multiplication of 1 over z squared with the individual terms. This yields two terms in the principal part of the Lorentz series that, along with the summation n from 0 to infinity for z to the n divided by n plus 2 factorial, gives us a Lorentz series with a second order pole at z equal to 0, which is, of course, consistent with the discontinuity at z equal to 0 in the original function. As you can see, the series that we have come up with is continuous for all finite non-zero values of z on the complex plane consistent with the aforementioned domain. If you don't believe me, or if you are simply one of those flat-earth, conspiracy-minded, anti-vax, all-empirical research is BS types who abhors rational explanation, then please don't take my word for it. Pump in any of the numerous values available to you on this imaginary sheet, and you will see that the formula produces an equally finite result that agrees with the original function. Always a pleasure hanging out with you in my little two-dimensional universe. The rent is cheap here. Till next time, this is Pentagram Prime, signing off.